malignant hyperthermia. Quick review. What is malignant hyperthermia? It is a rare, life-threatening, hypermetabolic skeletal muscle disorder. How does malignant hyperthermia occur? Triggering agents induce significantly increased calcium concentrations in the skeletal muscle cells. Sustained muscle contraction occurs. Energy-dependent calcium channels try to remove the excess calcium which increases the metabolism of the skeletal muscles. The increased metabolism depletes ATP stores and causes lactic acidosis. The acidosis and increased temperature destroys the sarcolemma which releases creatine kinase, myoglobin, and potassium. What is the mortality rate of malignant hyperthermia? The mortality rate of malignant hyperthermia is 1 to 5 percent. What is the earliest sign of malignant hyperthermia? A rise in the anhydral carbon dioxide level is the earliest sign. In the absence of capnography, an elevated heart rate would most likely be the first symptom. How long after induction of general anesthesia does malignant hyperthermia usually occur? Most episodes occur within one hour of exposure to the induction of general anesthesia. What intravenous anesthetics trigger malignant hyperthermia? No intravenous anesthetics are known to trigger malignant hyperthermia. Is mass eater spasm after administration of succinylcholine diagnostic of malignant hyperthermia? No, but it may be the first indication that a patient has malignant hyperthermia. Many clinicians advocate observing closely for any signs of hypermetabolism after a patient exhibits mass eater spasm on administration of succinylcholine. Some studies indicate that up to 50% of children who exhibit mass eater spasm with succinylcholine have malignant hyperthermia. What are the triggering agents for malignant hyperthermia? 1. The volatile agents, halothane, sevalfluorane, isoflurane, and desflurane, as well as succinylcholine trigger malignant hyperthermia in susceptible individuals. 2. But nitrous oxide does not trigger malignant hyperthermia. How early an indicator of malignant hyperthermia is an increase in temperature? An increase in temperature is typically a late sign, but the temperature may increase as much as 0.5 degrees Celsius every 15 minutes up to temperatures of 46 degrees Celsius. How is malignant hyperthermia transmitted genetically? Malignant hyperthermia is an autosomal, dominant, genetic, disorder. How does delayed onset malignant hyperthermia occur? Delayed onset malignant hyperthermia has been reported to occur with desflurane and sevalfluorane. Episodes have been noted to occur as much as 6 hours after exposure. How does cardiac irritability Result from malignant hyperthermia? The presence of hyperthermia, acidosis, and increased body temperature results in an increased susceptibility to potentially lethal cardiac arrhythmias. Can regional anesthesia be used in patients with malignant hyperthermia? Yes, both amide and ester. Local anesthetics may be used for regional anesthesia. In patients with malignant hyperthermia. Should patients with malignant hyperthermia receive a prophylactic dose of dontrolene prior to receiving an anesthetic? Dontrolene prophylaxis is not necessary as long as the patient receives a non triggering anesthetic. What are the laboratory signs of malignant hyperthermia? Increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide, metabolic, and respiratory acidosis, hyperkalemia, elevated creatine kinase, myoglobinemia, and myoglobinuria are the laboratory signs of malignant hyperthermia. What is the treatment for malignant hyperthermia? Treatments are 1. 
discontinue any volatile agents and hyperventilate the patient with 100% oxygen. 2. Dontrolene sodium should be administered dose 1 mg per kilogram body weight. 3. Active cooling using stomach lavage with cold water, surface cooling, and infusion of cold saline in the bladder may be performed. 4. Sodium bicarbonate may be administered to treat hyperkalemia and acidosis. 5. Saline should be administered to maintain a urine output of at least 2 milliliters per kilogram per hour and osmetic or tubular diuretics should be administered. How is Dontrolene packaged? It is packaged as a lyophilized, freeze-dried powder that must be mixed with 60 cc of sterile water prior to injection. How does Dontrolene work to treat malignant hyperthermia? Dontrolene works directly on the ryanidine type 1 receptor to inhibit the efflux of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. What is the dose of Dontrolene in the treatment of malignant hyperthermia? Treatment of acute episodes is 2.5 mg per kilogram intravenously every 5 to 10 minutes to a maximum dose of 10 mg per kilogram. Even if the episode is under control, Dontrolene may have to be repeated at a dose of 1 to 2 mg per kilogram every 6 hours for a 24 hour period to prevent recurrence. What are the side effects? of large doses of Dontrolene. The side effects of large dose of Dontrolene are 1. Nausea 2. Vomiting 3. Skeletal muscle weakness 4. Blurred vision What receptor has been linked to malignant hyperthermia? Aunt, where is this receptor found? The ryanidine receptor, which is a major calcium release, trigger located in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. What are some of the hypermetabolic conditions that can mimic malignant hyperthermia under general anesthesia? Hypermetabolic conditions are as follows. 1. Sepsis 2. Thyrotoxicosis 3. Pheochromocytoma 4. CNS injury 5. Light anesthesia 6. Release of a lower extremity tourniquet or aortic cross clamp What is neuroleptic malignant syndrome and how does it compare to malignant hyperthermia? Neuroleptic malignant syndrome is similar to malignant hyperthermia in that it is associated with fever, rhabdomyolysis, hypertension, tachycardia, muscle rigidity, and acidosis. It differs from malignant hyperthermia, in that it is related to the administration of haloperidol and the atypical antipsychotic medications, dontrolene, benzodiazepines, and bromocryptine, who have proved useful in the treatment of neuroleptic malignant syndrome also malignant hyperthermia occurs acutely with exposure while neuroleptic malignant syndrome occurs after long-term therapy with its triggering agents sudden discontinuation of drugs used to treat parkinson's disease can cause neuroleptic malignant syndrome when does myoglobin appear in the plasma after the onset of malignant hyperthermia? Myoglobin appears in the plasma within minutes after the onset of malignant hyperthermia. When do creatine kinase levels peak after the onset of malignant hyperthermia? Creatine kinase levels peak 12 to 24 hours after the onset of malignant hyperthermia. How does the anesthesia induce rhabdomyolysis associated with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy? 
compared to malignant hyperthermia. Duchenne's muscular dystrophy was once thought to be associated with malignant hyperthermia, but is now accepted that it is a completely separate condition. The anesthesia-induced rhabdomyolysis associated with Duchenne's is triggered by the same agents and clinically exhibits most of the same symptoms. The difference is that dontrolene does not treat anesthesia-induced rhabdomyolysis and may produce marked skeletal muscle weakness, which is of particular concern for these patients. Is there a test to diagnose malignant hyperthermia? Yes. In North America, the caffeine halothane contracture test can diagnose malignant hyperthermia. How does the caffeine halothane contracture test work? A muscle biopsy is obtained. High doses of caffeine release calcium from the sore colema. This effect is enhanced by halothane. The muscle tissue in patients with malignant hyperthermia contracts abnormally when exposed to these two patients, confirming a diagnosis of malignant hyperthermia. Are there any other tests for malignant hyperthermia other than the halothane contracture test? Yes, there is a molecular genetic test that examines the gene coding for the RIR1 ryanidine receptor that has a low sensitivity but is much less invasive than the contracture test. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and presentations.